years ago, Microsoft introduced the shell navigation system in Xamarin, which allowed developers to create tabs and fly out menus in a much easier way. And it sort of revolutionized how a lot of developers create multi-page stacks and, and navigate them. We're going to start with the shell tab system in this lesson, and then we'll go on to the flyout menu. In the shell tab, you get tabs at the bottom, and we can navigate to different pages simply by clicking on the tab. So I set up a, an application that has four colored pages and then a home page. Let's take a look at how to do this. I set up a .NET MAUI project in Visual Studio 2022 on the Windows side. In the main page XAML, I added the title of home page, added a background color of lavender, and then with the template, I kept the scroll view and the vertical stack layout settings as they were, but I got rid of everything else, and but I got rid of everything else and replaced it with two labels. One has the text of shell tab demo in purple. It's centered horizontally and vertically, size 40 open sans semi bold font with attributes of bold. I copied that label, pasted it for a second label with the text of click a tab below to navigate, changed the color to medium purple, and changed the font size to 24. Then for the code behind C sharp, I got rid of everything except for the constructor, so there were no issues. Then I added a red page class of content page for XAML, naming it redpage.cs, and the XAML content for that is, I set the title to red page, the background color to red, and then just created a, a vertical stack layout with a label that says red page, set the text color to white, centered, and font size of 40 there as well. Really no content here, I just want to demonstrate how you would navigate multiple pages in an app using the tabs from the shell navigation. I did the same thing for a green page. So I created an, another class called greenpage.cs, a content page XAML type, and basically the same as the red page, I just changed the background color to dark green, titles green page, and the text here is green page. Everything else is the same. To demonstrate, we can use a mixture of content page XAML and content page C sharp. For the blue page, I created that as a C sharp content page and did my layout in the C sharp. Basically, we're going to get the same thing we have for red page and green page. The title is going to be blue page and the background is going to be blue. So the vertical stack layout centered it and the children is a, contains a label, the text blue page, white color set the font size to 40 and bold. So I've set up these four pages, main page, red page, green page, and blue page. Next, I'm gonna go into the app shell XAML. And we're gonna make some changes here. Before I do that, let me point out that in the resources images, I added some PNG files. These are gonna be my icons, home, target 24 underscore B underscore G underscore O underscore R underscore Y. Those, re those reflect the colors of blue, green, orange, red, and yellow. We'll add in some more pages here in a little bit. The home is going to be my home page and the main page. These are all 24 by 24 pixel PNGs. And I experimented a little bit with the size. And for a PNG, I found that 24 by 24 works really well. Uh, you could also do these as SVGs so that they would scale independently. In our app shell XAML, I'm going to add a tab bar. In that tab bar then, I'm going to add a tab. I'm going to set the title equal to home. And we can give it an icon. And the icon here is going to be our home 24 underscore SFH PNG. Then I'm gonna take my shell content that was part of our template for the app shell XAML. I'm gonna drag it up in here into my tab. This is gonna be my first tab. I'm just gonna bring some of this up on the same page. So shell content title, our content page is going to be data template local main page. And then we need a route of the page itself, which is main page. So that's my first tab going to our main page. And all I'm gonna do is copy this and paste it. And here, let's change the title of the second tab to 
to red page. I'm going to change the icon to target 24 underscore R. Original is going to do a little target um, symbol. The problem is that the in the tabs, all they don't show the colors. So I was going to do a red target, a green target, and a blue target. The icons don't show up in colors on the tab. So instead, I used a capital R, a capital G, a capital B, and so forth for these. But I just kept the name as target24. Title here will be red page. And then our content template will be directed to the red page. And our route will be to the red page. I'm going to copy that again, paste it. This will be our green page. Change the icon to title 24, target 24 underscore G. And then I need to change the template to the green page and the route to the green page. Let's do one more. This is going to be our blue page. Let's run this in the emulator. Here then is our application. With our tabs, we can go to the red page, the green page, the blue page, and back to home. Let's make a few more changes. In the app shell XAML, I added another tab, but I didn't create a class for that tab because we can create tabs with content for pages in the tab itself. So I have a tab with the title of yellow page, give an icon of target 24 underscore Y PNG. And then for shell content, give a title yellow page, route yellow page, and then added a content page tag within the shell content and the layout I wanted to use. So I have a vertical stack layout, spacing 15, padding 20 top and bottom, centered it horizontally and vertically, so we did in the in the previous pages for red and green and blue, gave it a label, text is yellow page. Here I use the text color of black because I thought white on yellow wouldn't show up very well. So I have a black text and it's using the open sans semi bold font 40 bold attributes and I centered it. Let me run this. Now I have the home red, green, blue, and there's my yellow tab. The tab Navigation works great if you have, say, three to five pages. But what if we have more pages? Let's add another page. In the app shell.xaml, I copied and pasted the yellow page tab to create another, pa another tab that I named orange page. Set the shell content to orange page. Or I set the, the font icon to target 24 underscore O dot PNG. The route is orange page. The contents are the same as the yellow page, other than I changed the background color to orange and the label says orange page, I left it as black and 40 font size. Let's take a look at this. We now have too many tabs to fit on the tab bar. So it, on the right hand side, it gives us a more option. We can click that and then I can access the yellow page from there or I can access the new orange page. If we added more pages, that menu would, would deepen. On the iOS side, that menu will appear at the top. So there's not really a limit to how many tabs you can have, but there are a limit to the number of tabs that will display on the tab bar. One last thing, if you don't want the title, you can leave just the icon. I'm going to get rid of the word home, leaving just the icon for that. And vice versa, I can get rid of the icon and just have the text. I'll just do a couple of them here and then let's run it again. For the home tab, I have just the icon. And for the red page and the green page, I have just the titles. You probably want to be consistent. It looks a little strange having the icon and then have titles. I'd be consistent all the way around, whether it's just titles or just icons. Or in most cases, you'd probably want to do both. 
If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET My Practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.